These two ants are different species, but they are brothers. They have the same mother. How is it possible? I mean, how is it possible to have made from another species? A species that is not present in this area? In Sicily, one of the species is not known to exist in the wild. But despite this, genetic sequencing revealed that the brother ants had genomes from different species. One was genetically Mesoabericus, same as the mother, whereas the other was Mesostructor. Two species separated by about five million years of evolution. We call that xenoparity. Uh, so it comes from the, the Greek xeno, so foreign or foreign origin, and parity, uh, which means uh, to, to, to give birth, basically. So it basically means giving birth to alien, an alien species. Now, many ants have odd sex lives. Some types of ants need to mate with different species in order to produce workers, a hybrid worker species. This is what was assumed to be going on with Mesa Abericus, but Jonathan couldn't find any evidence for that. First, we believe that, okay, we probably miss the other species. So we try to increase and increase and increase the sampling with the hope to find the other species, but we, we never found them. In fact, Mesa Abericus and Mesa Structor do overlap in some places, but in Sicily, they don't, which got Jonathan and the team scratching their heads. So they kept the ants in a lab where they could ensure that no males were sneaking in and observed what happened. We found that actually the queen of Mesa Abericus was able to directly lay males of different species. The queens were actually birthing cloned males. Many ants can reproduce asexually, and it seems that Mesa Abericus is no exception. But in this case, they cloned males of another species. Jonathan thinks that in the distant past, these two species mated, and then Mesa Abericus queens continued to clone males even when Mesa Structor wasn't present allowing them to still produce hybrid workers. This strategy seems to have been working for these ants for several million years, but it raises questions about what is meant by the term species. I mean, the most basic definition of species is that, okay, you've got a species A and it produces uh, the same species A offsprings. I mean, this is the most basic definition. And in this case, it doesn't work.